<laughs> okay. <laughs> you knew it was coming, didn't you? Let's start talking about the letter K. It begins like so many of the letters with a, an initial curve off to the left. I'm drawing my little diagram box here to talk about the angle of the pen because the normal angle is about three and a half, right? But to start this curve, we begin holding our pen at about a four. So we get the, a thinner line at the top, bring the curve down, nice, friendly, easy, happy curve down about seven or eight o'clock there. And then the stem of the letter K is essentially a straight line and a little foot or curve, kick out curve <clears throat> at the bottom. Then the next curve, the next line is definitely a curve, just one continuous straight curve. And then coming from nearly the intersection, but not quite, go out just a little bit, maybe one nib width. And this is, as far as I can tell, a straight line. And when I say as far as I can tell, because you, you might at times have just the slightest S curve in that either one will be okay. My inclination is to make it straight. And if an S happens, if a, a slight curve happens, let it happen. Let me do that K one more time. Holding my pen in a more horizontal position initially. And then do you see how my, my hand turns around? One of the reasons I have you doing the double pencil technique is because, first of all, everybody has two pencils and rubber bands, so you can get this tool everywhere. The other is it's really easier to learn the letters a little bit large. One habit that you, many of you will need to break is the habit of trying to do all of your lettering by moving just your fingers. So if you draw large enough, you have to move your arm, and you'll do better calligraphy moving your arm than just your fingers. Okay? So again, this, this stroke is a simple curve. And then the third leg is a straight line with a little curve kicking out at the bottom, the capital K. Now let's do a lowercase k. You can probably do this without my help by this time, but it starts out with a, a flag, is what I call it, at the top. And you can either, depending on the pen and the paper that you're working with, you can either push your pen uphill to create that flag and then draw the stem coming down and a straight, a straight bottom, no, no kick out curve at the bottom of the K. Then a loop coming all the way back to the stem and then a straight or essentially a straight leg with that kick out curve going that way. Now, let me go back to this again and just explain. If, if your pen and your paper, paper are symbiotic, they, they are friendly with each other, then sometimes you can get away with pushing a, a pen. Technically speaking, the purists would say, never push. I say, do it if you can get away with it. Either way will work. So the purist, the better way to do it is to pull that flag this way. Do you see I moved that way instead of making my pen go uphill and then draw the stem with a separate stroke. I hope that's making sense to you. And then the, the loop of the K and the final leg with a kick out there. Now, as you can probably guess, what happens if the letter K is connected to the next letter? You just simply make sure that this, this little stem here, this little uh, foot, is at the right angle to begin the next letter, whatever that may be. Does that make sense? Okay, so what if the letter K is the last letter in a line of type? Well, let me demonstrate that really quickly. There are a couple things you can do. One is, the, probably the most obvious, is take the leg and simply kick it out with a nice, long, elegant S-curve. Or if you're more in the mood, you could make that curve go up like this. There's really no technical limit to the things you can do on the final, sw uh, on a final flourish, so it's up to you. Just try to make sure that it fits in with the character of the letters. So that's the, the final uh, letter. Let's now work with a felt-tip calligraphy pen and get a little bit smaller, therefore a little bit more challenging, right? And the first curve, like that, a vertical coming down with a little kick out at the bottom. This next stroke is a curve and the leg almost connected to the stem, but not quite straight line with a little foot and possibly connecting to the next letter. Lowercase k, a flag. I'll draw it the right way, so to speak, drawing, pulling, pulling the pen instead of pushing at this time. And then the stem comes down. Now here at the bottom, like any of these letters, you want to make sure you leave enough, enough air 
if you will. See that little V shape? That's very important. It gives it a friendly, open face feeling if you leave enough space there. And uh, let me do that again, drawing the other way this time, pushing the flag, drawing the stem down, and then either adjusting the angle of my pen ever so slightly so that this upstroke right here, this upstroke is nice and thin and there's enough air. See that V shape right there? You really want to pay attention to it. It's this V shape right here. You want to make sure that there's enough, enough of a space there to make the letter what I call friendly. <laughs> now let's go to the dip pen. I have a piece of paper to train or to to warm up my pen on, make sure it's behaving well. You don't have to use a sticky note every time. You could just have a scrap piece of scrap paper here, of course, doing that. Now, let me, I'm running out of room already, aren't I? I've been so excited about making the letter K. Let's come down here. The initial curve, then the stem, parallel to the italics angle, little curve off to the left. This angle is a complete, one complete curve. And then the final leg, straight line with a kick up going possibly to the next letter. Good enough? Let's do the lower case. And I'm gonna do it the first time by pushing that flag and then drawing the, the um, the stem, and I'm hesitating because I'm going, wait, I just went below the baseline. Let me do that again. Plus, it was a little bit crooked. Do you know what the most common mistake to make in, this callig in calligraphy is? Misspell a word. <laughs> just go ahead and let you know that if you do, if you make that mistake, you are in good company. The second most common mistake is to make a line that's supposed to be straight, but it's a little bit crooked. Can I move my board down that way just a little bit? There we go. So pushing the flag, then drawing. There we go. And then making the loop and the final leg with a kick out. Now, do you see how I pushed I pushed the pin on that flag and it didn't I don't know if you can see that. It's not very pretty. Now, this is in fact an easy fix. All I have to do is come back and draw it the right way, which is pull the pin and now it's perfectly fine. But that's a good example of what happens. Sometimes when you push a calligraphy pen, the line that you get is not quite as beautiful as it ought to be. Many times you can go back and just do it the right way and you're all done. Okay, that's the letter K. You're doing great. Let's keep going.